reverse percentage. You will find this on page 14 in the Namibia Mathematics Ordinary Level Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Reverse percentage, finding the original quantity, working back to 100%. So basically I will put the hundreds on top over the percentage given and I will multiply it by the given quantity. Very important. In reverse percentage, you are not given the full or the original amount. You must find the full or the original amount. Okay, let's look at an example. If 20% of a length is 23 centimeters, what is the complete length? So basically, I'm going to put the 100% on top over the 20 and I multiply it by 23 and I just get 150. You can actually test it by saying 20 over 100 multiply 115 and that will give you 23. You can also reduce direct proportion. So 20% is going to represent 20% and I want 100%. There's the 23 and I want the full. And then you can cross multiply and you can find the answer. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number one and number three. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's start. Number one. 20% of a number is 17. Find the number. So basically, I'm just going to put the 100% over the 20% and I'm going to multiply by 70 and that will give me 85. So because it's a word sum I can end by say find the number is 85. Okay let's look at the next one. Number three. In a class 30% of the students wear glasses. If there are 48 students wearing glasses, find the number of students in the class, the full amount. So I'm going to say 100 over 30 and I'm going to multiply it by 48. And that is going to give me 160. So therefore, find the number of students there are 160 students in the class. Okay, let's look at a little bit more advanced examples. Okay, now if I look at this one, I say in 2017, Anna picked 150 kilograms of apples. This was 20% more than she picked in 2016. Calculate how many kilograms of apples she picked in 2016. It's all about that more. So actually it was 20 plus the original full amount, 100, so it was 120%. That is equal to that 150. So if I want the full amount, the previous amount, I say 100 over 120, multiply 150 and I will get 125. She picked 125 kilograms of apples in 2016. Okay, I want again you to stop the video. I want you to do number one and number three. Okay, let's start with number one. You, it's always best that you first finish to do it by yourself and then you continue the video to see if you are correct. So a second hand card is sold for 64400 at a loss of 80%. Now this is very important, a loss of 8%. So it's actually 100, not add, but loss means subtract. So it's actually 92%. So again, if I want the 100, I put it, the full amount, over 92, and I multiply it with the price of the car. And that's 64400. Because remember, cars, cars become less. They don't grow. Okay, and if I do that, I will get on the dot, I'm going to get 70,000.
Oh, sorry, that's not looking good. So therefore, work out the original uh, purchase price of the car. The car was costing, and now I'm going to write it nice. So don't make a gap there. 70, you can make a gap there. Okay, 70,000. Okay, let's do number three. After an increase of 5%, so always check for that keywords, increase. So it, Daniel's monthly salary became this. Find the original, working back. So, okay, but first he got his full salary, and then they increased it to a 5. So actually he got 105%. Okay, so now if I want the original, then it's 100. That was the original. Over 105 and I multiply with 2, 2, 0. Okay, let's just get it. 2, 2, 0, 5, 0. And that is going to give me an amount of 21,000. So therefore, okay, this always in word sums to best to enter a sentence. So, uh, find the original monthly salary is original salary was 21,000 point. So, always just take note, if there's an increase or a decrease, you do it like this. And if there's not, if they just give you the percentage, then you just put the percentage. But take note, the 100% is always on top, because you are looking for the original. It's almost like working back to the past.